Hey everybody, you know who I am, you know who she is. Here's the thing, just give you a little hint. Um, this is not a normal video that I would do a reaction to because I've never got a request for this ever, but it's one of my kids' favorite songs. What are you doing? Put your hand down. Parent time. Anyway, um, this is not a song I would normally do a reaction to on my channel. I'm usually metal, rock, that kind of situation. But part of being a good parent is paying attention to what your kids love. And apparently my kid loves this. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Uh, check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. The Discord link for those who want to be part of the community and the merchandise store. As you all know, my name is Old School Nerd and I'm a dad. My name is Chewy and I'm a dog. Hi, I'm Caroline. I was forced to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't forced, she was asked and if she was truly forced, we'd be listening to something that I like versus something I've never seen before that she apparently loves. Okay, so I asked her to pick one of her favorite songs um, that, that is out right now. And she said, yeah, but it doesn't fit into your channel. And I told her, well, that's not true because I'll react to anything if it's something you love. Let's see if I was correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the name of the song is Numb Little Bug. Yes. And the name of the performing artist is In Behold? Yes. Okay, so this is Caroline's, this is this is one from Caroline. Now, someone in our Patreon requested that we do a reaction, uh, myself and Caroline, and let Caroline pick the song. So this is Caroline's choice. If this is a pop song or something emo or, or um, how do we say it? Um, more along the lines of a conceptual artistry that doesn't have anything to do with giantly loud drums and guitars and people going you know that's okay it just talks about the life of these past two years it's all it talks about oh i could do that just by talking to you i'm kidding thanks dad ah, i try all right here we go in behold numb little bug let me back this up let's start it from the beginning and her broken down bubble Have the pills done too much Haven't caught up with my friends in weeks And now we're out of touch I've been driving in LA And the world feels too big Like a f Did you know that when I was your age All phones had cords on them And I were the size of bread boxes? I know And you couldn't just hold them in your hands And walk around the house with them? Yeah, I have a history class I'm history, is what you're saying. Yes. Floating ball that's bound to break. Snap my psyche like a twig. And I just want to see if you feel the same as me. Do you ever get a little bit tired of life? Like you're not really happy, but you don't want to die. Like you're hanging by a thread, but you gotta survive. Cause you gotta survive. Like your body's in the room, but you're not really there. You have empathy inside, but you don't really care. Like you're fresh out of love, but it's been in the air. I'm a Is the DJ her dad or something? Because that looks like some shit I would do to you. Yeah. If you were ever like cutting a video and it was going to be on YouTube or Spotify or go around the world, I would be right behind you wearing an out of place t shirt, singing it like it's my song with a corded M80 mic. Yeah. Not, not a wireless one. Not, you know, a, not, a, not, a, not a head. No, no. Like a wired from, from like the 90s. Yeah. Spinning two turntables and a microphone. That's what he's doing. That's a, that's a Beck reference for those who didn't know. Broken and broke. The 
I'm going to let her finish this song. I really am. Um, but I, I get it. I, I know there's a lot of... This relates to a lot of young people. And probably uh, not so young people. Um, some of the things she's singing about in this song, I know you deal with. Because of your age and the fact that, you know, you own a phone. What I'm saying is, is that um, we're finding out now... Dude, can I put you down? Can I put you down? Yes, I can't. Okay, he didn't say a word. Um, um, <laughs> you know what I think it is? What? And, and just go with me on this one, okay? I remember when I was your age, and even when I was Olivia's age, your sister, I didn't, my life was really simple. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have social media. All we had was our lives and our friends and what we were doing right where we lived. I think part of the problem is, and one of the reasons why a lot of parents and doctors are saying, take your effing phones away from your kids. A little bit. Because you talk to me every day, worried about things that are not in your circle of life. And I'm not using that as a Lion King reference. What I'm referring to is, is you don't need to worry about gas prices. You don't need to worry about a war on the other side of the world. You don't need to worry about things that are not a part of your personal day-to-day -day life. As adults, we have experience and life coping mechanisms and the power to change things. If I see something um, on the other side of the world like this war that's going on, it's my job as an adult to take action, to contact the people in charge, contact the rulers, write letters, make my voice heard with my vote. But for a kid, they can't. So not only are you dealing with all of the issues of the world, you're powerless to change them because you're a child. Now, you're a young lady now. You're not a child. I mean, you're, a teen you're going to be a teenager in just a couple months. But that's just too much pressure. I mean. The end of the Cold War happened when I was your age. Didn't really, I can't even begin to tell you how many close calls to nuclear war we had in the 70s and 80s. Or like the inflation we're dealing with right now and the high gas prices that everyone's freaking out about. That was me when I was six. That was going on right here when I was six. Um... The Donald Trump presidency? Yeah, I went through that when I was six, too. We elected Ronald Reagan. They're kind of, I mean, other than the fact that Ronald Reagan is really good at speaking, and Donald Trump is really not, their policies are very similar. So I've been through all that, but I was so young, and I didn't have it thrown in my face 24-7 with everybody's opinions and everybody's thoughts around the world in my face all the time. So it didn't stress me out. You have the same amount of stress in your life day to day that I have. I'm in my 40s with like a career. I pay taxes. I'm raising kids. You are a kid. You don't need to have the level of stress that I have. And we talk about this all the time. When I tell you, hey, don't worry about that. And you're like, you don't understand. It's in my world. And it is, unfortunately, because, and I know it's a little hypocritical for me to say, 
Oh, it's this stupid social media. I, I have a fairly significant YouTube channel. But in my YouTube channel, we talk about it all the time. We just need to love one another, relax, and enjoy music. This song has a very, very important message, and I do like it. I do like, she has kind of a, a very Violet Orlandi feel to her. For those who don't know who Violet Orlandi is, she's a very similar singer in her tone, uh, uh, a low range alto, very sultry sounding, um, different messages. Violet Orlandi is a little bit more dark. Uh, she's a little bit more depressing, <laughs> but uh, she's talking about life in her brown Volvo. Hey man, life's rough, man. All right, let's finish this out. Let's let her, let's, at least she's dancing, damn it. Hey, maybe that's the solution. Put the phone down and just dance it out. Think about it. What if we just put all our phones down for a little bit, turn on some music and just dance it out? No. See, that's the problem with kids these days. They don't get that. They don't get that reference. You got to shake your groove thing. I do get that reference because I have kids that dance to that song. <laughs> shake your groove thing? Yes. Shake your groove thing. Shake your... That came out when I was a kid too. I know. <laughs> All right, so that was in Behold. And uh, apparently a guy that's, you know, thinking it's the 90s and he's Beck with two turntables and a microphone in her brown Volvo and balloons. Um, let's just, let me just put her in back in the, uh, yeah. It, it, it does kind of feel like this a little bit. But anyway, um, so good song. I, I do like the beat. I do like the, the way it's arranged. The message is strong. Um, <sighs> I don't want to be too par parental. I just want to have fun with you right now. So, but um, I love you. Love you too. Good song. Mm. Good idea. Unfortunately, you had to know that this song was going to make me think about you, right? Yeah. Okay. I love you. You okay? Mm. <laughs> When the camera goes off, I'm going to get hit. And I don't, know how to, I don't know how to take that. All right, everybody. My name is Old School Nerd. That's Caroline. This is Chewy. This is how we need to be living right here. Your best life. I eat. I poop. I go outside. I come back in. And I get belly rubs. Caroline, I'm not rubbing your belly. <laughs>